Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today it's happening a fun day today. We're gonna have a little autobahn drive with three cars. We have the Hyundai Kona here, a 64 kilowatt hours. Then we have my Volkswagen ID3, 58, already 8% degradation. And we have the Model Y, what is it? 74 kilowatt hours or something. And originally it was planned to just do the Kona with the ID3 because they're very similar cars. But Paul with his Model Y said, hey, why don't I come along? And it's just fun, so we're gonna do that. Uh, we're driving from here, the, we're in Pilsting at Ionity, and we're going to Himmelkron, Ionity, and then come back. And I, I, I planned this route before the Model Y was there because there's only one supercharger for him. But it's 540 kilometers or something, and this is a, a fun ride, so we're not gonna be unsafe we're gonna drive the speed limit and we're gonna like i said drive safe we're gonna only drive on the highway so there is no weird passing nobody is risking anything we're gonna be all cool and safe and uh, the weather today should be okay i hope it stays that way we'll see and like I said, everybody is driving on the highway the same route. I asked the community, YouTube community, what they wanted because I originally wanted that everybody can go to the, the uh, re return point however they want, charge wherever they want, um, so they can get the best out of their car. But the community said, no, you should all drive the same, <laughs> the same route and we're gonna do this because um, you have influence, so you know that. Um, so we're going only on the highway to Himmelkron and back. They can, everybody, uh, so we can all drive as how we want. We can charge where we want, um, the speed we want, but of course not over the speed limit, just the normal, what is it, 10 kilometers an hour or something, but the Model Y different because it has a different GPS speed. But yeah, we're gonna talk there later and have some fun and see uh, who arrives first back here? It most likely, <laughs> not most likely, it will definitely be the Model Y. It charges faster and it has a bigger battery. But then Kona or ID3, we'll see. Kona has an advantage. Smaller winter tires, 17 inch winter tires. I have 19 inch and the Kona has a heat pump. I don't have that, but Kona charges a bit slower. I can charge up to 100 kilowatt. Kona only with 75, 77, depending on the uh, voltage and uh, battery temperature so we'll see um yeah as always don't forget channel membership and merch and if you want to uh, support me there's patreon and you uh, pay paypal and all of this thank you very much um let's show you the cars a bit here we have the kona beautiful car it's a 2019 model then you have my id3 and we have a <laughs> we have a beautiful Model Y. This is the Model Y I tested in the summer, or well, in September. So awesome car. This will be so cool of a drive. It's pretty cold. It's one degrees and very windy. Um, we'll see how it will be. I mean, look at the look at the flags. It's very windy. I'm on my way, I'm already in Regensburg, almost close to. This is where uh, Model Y Paul will charge. My, my consumption is pretty high, it was even at 323. I think we have headwind. It feels like that we have a bit of a headwind. It's very, very possible. Um, yeah, I'm driving just 110 now, but I was doing 160 because there's a speed limit here of 100. 
that's why I was doing 160 most of the way where I was allowed and I still have 74 kilometers to go my range is 118 but it got better with the with the slow speed right now yes so Let's go on. There are 74 people here watching us. Model Y will not get great charging speed this early. Yes, he does because he's, he's navigating to a supercharger and will have amazing charging power. I arrived <coughs> charging with 106 kilowatt because the heat is using a lot of power. I'm heating up the car because I drove without heat. I mean, um, let's look at my stats. Charging here at Ionity Neumark. This was a bit of a trip, but it's fine. ID3 is dirty. Um, let's look what we have. 291 watt hours per kilometer because we had headwind 162 kilometers driven 124 was my average speed so i'm charging up the car well maybe even more <laughs> because then i can drive again i arrived with nine percent already at 14 will charge to i think 130 kilometers of range i have right now 31 can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. 30, 31 kilometers of range. And I have to put in my next destination. I arrived here uh, after 107 kilometers from the, the other charger and I noticed that I charged wrong. <laughs> I'm a noob, even though I drive this car for, for one and a half years almost. So I charged to 130 kilometers, but I had the heat on at that time. So when I turned off the heat on the drive, I had 160 kilometers. And so I, I drove top speed if, when I could, when there was no speed limit. But I arrived just two minutes after the Model Y here. He's charging with 190 kilowatt. I, he arrived with 12%. He drove from Regensburg to here, 180 kilometers or so. I only drove 100 kilometers here and I'm charging with 100 kilowatts. So he will be done sooner and he will go far. I will just go back to the, because this is our uh, turnaround point. I will just go to uh, the charger before where we just were Neumark again and then another step to Straubing and then back to the starting point but it's cool that he's here and the, the corner should be coming in around a minute or two so very close together at the turnaround point that's very cool I like that mm -hmm. 107 to the next point yeah shut up I'm at 27% arrived with 12 or 13 and he took a wrong turn. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! The corner took a wrong turn. Oh no! My stats for the whole trip and for the last leg. Only 105 kilometers. Yeah, that, oh, that, that's pretty much right. But good average speed. I like that. On the last leg was a good speed. Yeah, charge two. I'm at 71 kilometers, we charge 235, and then we go reasonable speed. So 130, 140. 
not 150. Go to Neumarkt and then Himmelkron. There he is. There's the corner. Look at him coming. <laughs> there he is. Cool. <laughs> Dirty cars. There we have them. All three cars are here. That's so cool. We're not far apart. Model Y first, two minutes later me, two minutes later the Kona. That's really cool. But I think from now on we will separate a bit more. Model Y will charge way faster and then get, uh, have has more range. And then I, I will uh, drive slower and I think Kona could catch up with me. It could be possible. So I'm on my way, I charged to 60% and then left. Paul already left as well, uh, what I heard from the live stream. I'm doing 140 and see if this is the speed I want to be doing. Um, it's a bit, I'm sorry, the camera is a bit crooked, the gimbal is a bit wrong right now, or, or the car is crooked, <laughs> could also be true. I have 25 kilometers of margin, so we'll keep it that way. And uh, I, I go to the same charger that I was before. We'll see if the others do their their strategy. So Paul with the Model Y will wants to drive all the way back to Regensburg to the supercharger. Rami with the Kona wants to do maybe the whole way or maybe he's charging in between. He doesn't know yet. I arrived, I arrived with 7% already charging with full charging speed. Um, this is the data for my whole trip and this since the last charge. Yeah, it got a bit warm, warmer, 3 degrees and I think it's tailwind so the consumption went down a bit. Good average speed. Um, I next charger is in Straubing, 114 kilometers, so I would charge 245 kilometers. That's still a while. Charging at 100 kilowatt, 18 percent. Um, the Peugeot E208 there is charging at 27 kilowatt at 50 percent. He must be cold. So charge 245 kilometers. That's cool. Look at the dirty car. Today is the perfect horrible weather to get your car dirty. It's a bit wet and salt and when you drive faster everything goes on your car. I have to eat a bit. Look at the wheels, they're not black anymore. They're grey. But that was a nice drive. Like I said, going to Straubing. So far good drive. Um, and Paul is gonna pass me soon in a few minutes. He will go pa past here with his Model Y um, And then he will charge in Regensburg and maybe I can pass him there, but then I'm charging in Straubing he will pass me there again and Then that's it then we go all to Pilsting, but I think I mean he will win but not by as much as I thought Okay, charge two and then we go
charging stop, this is in Straubing, will charge just to 80 kilometers because uh, the uh, point where I want to go, where Paul already is gone, um, is 50 kilometers away. And Paul left the Regensburg supercharger before I even went by. So he went there, charged, and went on and I wasn't even there when I charged before that. So like I said, and, and Rami with his Kona, so that Model Y, the uh, Rami with his Kona is just in Regensburg now. So he's 20, 25 minutes behind. I will charge, just charge to, like I said, 80 kilometers and then go to speed so I arrive with 10% or something. And by the way, the whole day when I charged, so this is my fourth charging session, always got 100 kilowatt, always worked right away, handshake, no problem at all. Volkswagen and Ionity just works. <laughs> it really does. Everything worked, the car worked perfectly, there was no glitch, anything. I like it. <laughs> you know that I like my, love my ID3. That's Walter. Okay, let's go on. Paul arrived with his Model Y 13 minutes or so before me, but uh, he trusted a better route planner and a better route planner screwed him over on the last leg. First, he had to charge in Regensburg at the supercharger and he had to split the charging with another Tesla, so he only got 120 kilowatt. And a better route planner said just charge to 25%. He charged to 30 something and it wasn't enough. He had to slow down the last 20, 25 kilometers and I drove constantly 160. Um, I don't know if this is faster if you drive 140 and don't charge that much. I don't know, <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> um, but it was a great drive. Um, Rami with his uh, Kona is taking a shortcut, so he's here earlier because he's around 30 minutes behind us or behind me, so 45 minutes behind the Model Y. Um, and I don't think it has to do with the Kona, it's more about knowing the car and trusting the car when it comes to faster driving and the consumption and the charging. And Rami never arrived with a very low state of charge. Even though in the Kona it's not that good because the voltage is then low and you don't get that amazing charging speed. It's better to be at a bit of a higher, maybe, uh, maybe I don't have no idea. Um, but so we're gonna charge a bit here, wait for Rami, and then we're going home. I will still film when he's arriving, but, but that was cool. The Kona arrived as well. Can you see him? There he is. Kona arrived 13 minutes after me. I arrived 13 minutes after the Model Y, which is here. But the Kona took a shortcut, like I said before, uh, because otherwise it would have taken him 10 minutes more than that. But he started uh, in the beginning with a lower state of charge because it would have taken him from 90 to 100 percent so long and we were already done and then he said it's fine. And he just said he noticed something that the GOM on, on the corner was always wrong. When the, he drove one kilometer the GOM dropped by two kilometers but when his consumption was above 200 watt hours per kilometer it went to the right one so it, it, it GOM was correct. I don't know why but that's it. It was a, was a very cool drive, it was a lot of fun. 540 kilometers. Let's look at my stats. Yeah, where he stopped charging. My stats for the whole drive, 536 kilometers, average speed 123. Took a bit under six hours and average consumption. This was from the last leg. I drove pretty fast. I'm already done charging, I should unplug. Let's look at the other cars. Uh, trip A, it's a 253. Where are we? Right here, trip I have A. To see. Trip A, we have 542 kilometers, 100 and six, where? Oh, that's the. That's a kilowatt hours. Oh, I had 280 something. Yeah, cool. And of course you had a higher average speed because you're 13 minutes before me. 
In front Overall of me. average speed. I don't know about driving speed though. Look at the corner. So we don't have the, the, the full stats for the whole drive in the corner. He just reset the last trip, not the not the not the whole the whole stats for the whole drive. But he has a very low consumption from the last trip to here, only 190. But I had the highest consumption then, I guess. <laughs> I really think so. Okay. So Enuro is going. There was someone else charging. Uh, I will leave you now, say thank you very much for watching, um, as always channel membership, merch, PayPal support, Patreon, all of this stuff and subscribe because it's cool and yeah we charge a bit and then we go home. Thank you much for watching, have a great day and take care, bye!